Hello everybody and welcome back to our Let's Play of Reverse Crawl. I am Nerdstalgic. And yeah, I'm not really sure which video number this is, but uh, we're getting uh, a little bit further in the game. Uh, we're on chapter 9. So, looks like we've got three choices for chapter 9. Uh, I think what we did is we just recruited the Spider Queen. I think is what we just did. So we can do Hero Hunt, Book of Flesh, and Dark Hero. Um, gaining upgrades and bonus experience sounds pretty good. So let's... Uh, I don't know, but Book of Flesh sounds intriguing too. Let's check that out. Greybeard says, Ah! The Catacombs' final resting place of a thousand unfortunate souls. That sounds really disturbing. Well, it's just bones anyway. The Book of Flesh is hidden somewhere deep within. Who named something the Book of Flesh? It sounds so... inappropriate. Well, my other two books were the Book of Flame and the Book of Frost. I was going for a naming theme. Couldn't you come up with a better word that starts with F? Let's just go get that book. Alright, so uh, it looks like they're going to have two... They have two enemy groups left, so we have two minion groups left. So it's kind of even footing. Um, they're starting off with a knight and a uh, fire mage. There is a treasure chest on the field. Fire mage, ranged magic hero, good versus ranged magic, high damage fire, good versus groups. Um... I think, <clears throat> you know, whenever we see a mage, I just almost always uh, kind of reach for what spider nest. Interesting. Good versus high initiative, huh? Yeah, okay. Um, I almost always just reach for my Zombros, you know, because they're so strong uh, against magic, you know. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll go Zombros. So the Gold Talon came up and grabbed the treasure. That's fine. It's maybe going to do his undoing. Ooh, that life steal from damage is pretty good. So it looks like we went ahead of Wolf Staff. Hmm. I'm tempted to kind of work towards him and go ahead and take him out. I think we'll kind of work around uh, him here. So, let's see. We could go for a power strike. Nice. Ouch, we're burning. No! I'm on fire. I'm on fire. We're going to leave this zombie here, I think. Um. Oh no, we missed. That's a shame. All right, move him up, and good. That guy's getting pretty low in health, and he's taking a lot of uh, poison damage. We could move up and probably just swat him once, which would uh, more than likely just kill him. We do 85 to 151. Maybe not. Yeah, so he's gonna die on his next activation. Whoa, why didn't he die? Guess he uh, did something to cure the cure the poison off of him. Um Alright, let's go ahead and move this guy I think here. Burn. All right, let's kill this guy. I think. Move here. Jesus, man, come on. Seriously. Um, he will definitely die next activation. So let's just move forward. Yeah. Unfortunately, we lost that zombie, but whatever. All right, let's uh, move up and guard. And guard. And we'll just, we're gonna leave this guy here in guard. Try to get some hit points back. Ooh. It's bad. He's gonna die on his next activation. The reason I'm guarding is to try to get some hit points back up. 
before we go into the next phase, but uh, Wolfstaff is doing enough damage to where it's, uh, he's making it a little bit hard on us, isn't he? Okay, um, let's go ahead and heal this zombie. And uh, let's try to power strike it. Good crit. Can I heal you too? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So we're still alive. Wow! We're still alive. Let's lay some more poison on him. Move up and uh, just go ahead and hit him. Actually, yeah, let's hit him. Good. Okay. The Book of Flesh is a record of everything I've learned about reanimating the dead. It looks like someone's already read it then. Check out those ghouls. Ah, uh, yes, reanimated ghouls. They don't have much hit points, but they rapidly regenerate their life when activated. It might be a good idea to concentrate on one ghoul at a time and destroy them before they can heal their wounds, which, yeah, makes perfect sense. Dwarven Bracer of Doom. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's too bad we won't get around to this guy so that we could, uh, we could sack him, which would be a lot of fun. We haven't actually used that sacrifice yet. Um... We could summon a weak disposable skeleton warrior to try to take some take some fire. Uh, it's not going to have a lot of hit points. I'll probably die in one hit. All right, I think we just move up and uh, try to lay in some damage on this guy. I don't see really any point. I think in um, trying to heal him. Yeah, because that was going to happen. So we knew that was going to happen. All right, so. Um, the ghouls have high initiative. They're melee. The only thing about summoning spider nest, yeah, 200 spiders and one poison spider um, is good versus high initiative, but I don't know that it's what we need for this since it's four ghouls. Rates would be pretty good because we could still focus one target and do damage to like other targets, you know, um, tangentially. Mm, no, like ideally, what you what we would be looking for here is like high single target damage. Violet Squad would be pretty good. Um, I think let's go let's go wraiths because they're pretty tightly clustered and then uh, let's just beat them down I mean the wraiths do a lot I mean a lot of damage this guy's already acted this turn I wonder if we can move back here and swat this guy and kill him yes that's exactly what we should have done I think this guy's gonna die next turn because he's got the uh, poison. I guess it depends on like how much um, how much health he regenerates. If we move here, we can put this guy to flank, but we can't attack him. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, that was a mistake. I I messed up with looking at my hexes. We could try to power strike him. Could. We just attack. All right, so he did survive through it because of his regeneration. Yeah, we could kill this guy. We could magic missile him, and it probably would kill him. Has he went yet? He has not went yet. So it might be worth it to do that. I'm thinking. We could also focus strike, which would increase our attack for 10% more damage. Can't be dodged, so 10% of what our damage is would be about 200 to 275 so it would definitely increase the chance that we could kill him but it wouldn't be a 100% whereas this magic missile I think would be so let's go ahead and magic missile him now we're definitely gonna kill him okay so uh, we got a garter here he's guarding fair enough I think uh, Let's go ahead and we're at, we're at about half health, so let's heal him. And then what do we got left? We got this guy that's at full health and this guy who's not at full health, but we can't get to him. 
Uh, let's try kind of like to move around to a flank here. And let's focus strike him. Alright, so he moved closer. Now that he has his hit points back, he's feeling kind of froggy. So we're going to move up to this other wraith. And uh, we'll focus strike and make sure we... Well, I guess we could really do either one of them. Yeah, we'll get the one with the higher health. Yeah, he's going to regenerate a little bit. That's okay. We can't heal this guy, but we can guard to get some hit points back and then bash this guy. Alright, so that's done. Look, there's your book, but it's guarded by some kind of abomination that looks hastily stitched together. Pudge? Is that you, Pudge? Oh, a flesh golem. I remember recording the steps to reanimate one of those. The flesh golem's huge body is full of poisonous gas. It leaks out and injures everyone whenever he activates. Okay. Wow, it's got a lot of hit points, too. So, it's really just, well, two ghouls. You can't see the second ghoul because he's hot, hiding behind the bulk of the flesh golem. And, uh, the flesh golem. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but I guess that gas is pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. Which would make uh, <clears throat> ranged units pretty good against him. Um, I think let's uh, let's go for a heal here. Keep try to keep him alive and see if we can kill this guy. Move up, yeah. Move maybe. Do we want to go here or here? Maybe here. Let's go here. And uh, we'll do a heal, and then a heal. Okay, so it, we took about 50 damage from the activation. Did the ghoul take damage too? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Uh, okay. So, we, we know we're going to lose the wraiths. We know we're going to lose them. There's no point in really guarding, so let's just try to kill as much as we can. Flesh Golem. Okay, so we went first. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Um, Alright, let's, let's just move in a flank and attack him. So now he's guarding. Ah, interesting. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and dark healing him. We'll go ahead and dark healing Ow, oh, that was horse, horse shit. But he went first. Oh well. Alright, so Flesh Golem's at about half health, something like that. I mean, a little bit higher than half health, but he's all that's left for them. Um, so, he's melee, he's high health, he does a little bit of poison. Which, our rates were really our good unit versus poison, because they can't take poison damage. Um, we could bring in Violet Squad. They would go first. We would just basically uh, pin cushion him with like focus attacks. Um, I don't think I don't know. I don't know that Greybeard's going to be good in this situation. Although he will generate threat. Uh, let's bring in Violet Squad. They should go first, and then we can just probably focus to attack him down. Oh, you guarding son of a bitch! So that's, that's your game, is it, sir? I've played that game many times before. Well played, sir. Well played. So it's a race. <laughs> to see... Uh, to see if we can beat his guard. Oh, now he's moving up. Now it's, that's a game, brother. Alright. Very good, very good. Graybeard says, we've done it. The Book of Flesh is back in my possession. Hmm. Maybe calling it Book of the Forbidden would be less than appropriate? What? That doesn't even make sense. Okay. So, Graybeard gained a new command. He can now summon undead, which is cool. We have two units, I guess, that can summon undead now. New trait reanimated. Your minions have a chance to gain a new trait reanimated. Reanimated minions are considered undead. Each minion in this group regenerates health when activated. Ghoul. New power ghoul. Summon a ghoul that recovers hit points each time it is activated. Flesh golem. New minion group flesh golem. D summons a flesh golem to damage everybody at once and two ghouls that can recover from that. Um, flesh golem group. I don't know. Flesh golem group is kind of an anomaly. 
really. Because you think it would be good against like small numbers of people in the enemy groups because if your ghouls take a lot of damage, you know, get surrounded, they're going to die really fast. They're not going to be able to regenerate through it. But the flesh golem's ability lends itself very well to large groups. So I guess like large groups of things that don't do a lot of damage would be good for the flesh golem. Uh, let's go with uh, this <laughs> new trait reanimated. Okay, so we're on chapter 10 now. Vengeance. Defeat the Red Queen. Really? This soon? This soon? Surely this can't be the end of the game. Alright, well, I think we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. That went pretty well. And in our next video, we're going to move on to chapter 10 at the Royal Castle and see if this is the end of the game. I find it hard to believe that it would be. And I would be, you know, frankly a little disappointed if it was, but... Uh, we'll, you know, we'll deal with it. <laughs> so, thank you guys for joining me, and until next time, game on.